We're here in Asheville, North Carolina today, you guys, to check out the much anticipated, much requested Chipotle Mexican Grill, you guys. I'm gonna go inside, get something good. We're gonna be right back to check it out. Hang on, we're here for another fast food pit stops. Ow! Welcome back everybody to an all new fast food pit stops. I'm your host, Justin. We're back in Asheville, North Carolina. Check it out, Chipotle. You guys requested it. I told you it was on the way. Chipotle is one of my favorite places to go. I actually used to work at Chipotle uh, as an assistant manager many years ago at one of their first locations in Florida. The food here is uh, close to heart with me and I wanted to go ahead and check it out for you guys at home. Now this Chipotle here in Asheville is brand new. In fact, when I went in, they were still installing the glass on the windows. I actually just opened up not only the location, but they also just opened up for the day. So I was one of the first people to hop in there. I went ahead and got one of their famous burritos and I mixed two meats in it. You can do that at Chipotle. Uh, take, here, take a look at the menu. Uh, you have all the different meat selections. You can choose uh, the beef products, chicken, uh, the pork. I went ahead and mix and match. I chose half steak, half Half barbacoa you can do a half and half and they'll only charge you whatever the most expensive meat is for this so this burrito you guys came out to uh, seven dollars and fifty cents here and you'll see it uh, and you can get uh, all the extra toppings there's a bunch of extras there we did half steak half barbacoa sour cream lettuce uh, two different types of salsa the white cilantro rice and their black beans so this thing is loaded up you guys take a look I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap this for you here so you can see. Big, looks good. Oh, it probably weighs about a pound. We're gonna go ahead and just jump right into this, you guys. We're gonna make this review nice and to the point. I want you guys to just really focus on the food here and see what's up with Chipotle. You might've been scared if you've heard some of the latest stuff in the news. Uh, they had an E. coli breakout a few months ago. It actually shut down all of their locations. They went through, retrained all of their personnel, new health standards. The store was super clean inside. Here, I took a couple of pictures. You can see they were kind of looking at me like, why are you taking pictures of our store? So I didn't really get anything crazy back into the kitchen. I didn't want to cause an uproar. The best way for me to do this, normally I would probably slice it in half. I don't have a knife, but I have my my teeth and I have a really big bite so what I'm gonna do is just take a real big bite here and we'll kind of go through the layers you can see here big chunky I mean I can just feel the meats in here steak barbacoa sour cream lettuce cheese two types of salsa black beans and cilantro lime rice let's go mmm take a look at that hmm it tastes fire. Wow. A little bit of corn salsa in there. I also got some just their tomato, um, the regular salsa. Both are mild. The barbacoa is their, uh, or it's uh, marinated overnight in their adobo. Really tender, juicy. Has that real smoky flavor. They use the uh, chipotle pepper. A chipotle pepper is just a smoked jalapeno pepper. Chipotles uh, are not that spicy because a jalapeno isn't really relatively spicy in terms of peppers. In the smoking process, when you smoke a chipotle, it really releases some of those oils and you get a completely different flavor to it. And that's what they use. They'll use the smoked chipotle in their uh, marinating seasonings and uh, their adobo. The meat kind of pulls in that flavor. It's real good. Let's take another bite. Mm. Mm. This thing is on point, you guys. Seven dollars and fifty cents, and this is one of their. This would be one of their more expensive burritos. I think the chicken ones are around the six twenty-five or six fifty range. So again, seven fifty, and I mix two meats in this, and you can do that. I could have gotten like steak and chicken, and they would have still charged me just seven fifty, whatever the higher price meat is. That makes sense, right? And you get two different types of rice you can choose from. There's a brown rice and also the white rice. Both have the uh, cilantro and lime kind of infused in them. I really kind of just wanted to be able to taste the burrito, taste the meat, and show you guys what's going on at Chipotle. Mmm. Mmm. See that? There's so much meat in there. It's real nice. You can see all that sour cream. You got the black beans and the meat going on. It's as big around as a, as a, as a grapefruit, really. It's heavy. It's big. Let's go in. Mmm. 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 Love it. Wow. Now, of course, Chipotle has 
many different offerings besides burritos. They have salads. You can get um, burrito bowls, they call it, which come without the flour tortilla if you're watching your carbs. Kids meals and also tacos, soft tacos, hard tacos. They have a great selection. And many Chipotles uh, also offer uh, liquor, believe it or not. You can get margaritas there. You know, nothing like going down, having a little lunch, getting a burrito, getting your margarita on, and I guess heading back to the office or, but I'm sure their margaritas are good. I've never really had one. I'm gonna go in on another bite on this here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh! Oh! Checking me out in the parking lot, seeing what I'm up to. Fast food pit stops, buddy. Woo-wee! Take a look at the meat here and kind of see. See that seasoning on there? That marinade? It's nice and tender. This is the steak right here. Let's see if I can pull you out some of the, uh, the barbacoa. Let's see if we can grab a, a chunk of it here. What I haven't already demolished, I have to take another bite to find some more. Hang on. Mm. Oh my God. It's falling everywhere. Ah, my car. No barbacoa. I think I might have eaten it all. What I kind of have left here is just a big uh, thing of rice. I'm sure there's still some meat hidden down here. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off, and we're going to give the rating here on the Chipotle burrito with barbacoa and steak. Last bite, big bite. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's that barbacoa <laughs> hanging out at the bottom. Look at that. Looks good, right? It is. It's fantastic. All right, this was just a quick stop here at Chipotle in Asheville, North Carolina. I've had several requests to check out Chipotle. I know several of you may not have a Chipotle in your area and several of you probably do, maybe haven't checked it out or maybe you go there all the time. I started working at Chipotle about 12 years ago. I only worked there for about half a year or so before I kind of moved on in my career and, and, and started doing something completely different besides food service. I enjoyed my time at Chipotle and one of the things that we're kind of known for is that they haven't changed their menu. Now there's an exception to that. They just announced just recently, the CEO a few days ago said they're going to be bringing chorizo to the menu to be able to add into your burritos, tacos, uh, burrito bowls, whatever. And I will want to come back and check out the chorizo when that drops. I think it's supposed to happen sometime this summer. This burrito was a great value. $7.50 plus tax. And that was their premium meat offerings. I could have gotten a burrito for like $6.25 or $6.50, gone in with the chicken. This thing is the bomb. It's a lot of food for the money. Chipotle has a big following. You guys need to check it out. Here you go. This is the last bite. I said the last one was the last bite, but this one's got too much meat to give it up. I'm going to do the last bite and we're going to go ahead and give it the rating. Mm. There's meat all the way to the end, you guys. My rating for the Chipotle burrito with the barbacoa and the steak, which I highly recommend, two of their beef items, slow marinated overnight, just really fantastic. You got the sour cream, the lettuce, no guacamole in this. The guacamole here, though, is fantastic. It, it, everything, it's, it's scratch made. I used to make the guacamole here, so I know what goes into it. I didn't get the guacamole this time. This thing was already loaded down, and I wanted to kind of keep it under $10 out the door. On my rating for this, I'm going to give this a, a, this is getting a 9. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I don't really know what would make it a 10, I guess. You know, maybe changing some of the meat in there. Uh, maybe not going the double meat. I'll be back for sure for some more of these things. Thank you for the comments and the suggestions to come check out Chipotle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to be back here for some more fast food reviews on fast food pit stops. I'm your host, Justin. You know you love it. You know you want some more of it. We'll be back for more fast food reviews. Bye, everybody.